These little Amiga Rumi wheels are great for using up yarn scraps you have lying around. So grab your crochet hooks and let's make one together. These little friends designed by The Crocheting are so cute. And like I said, they're amazing for using up any leftover yarn you have at home. You can make them in any weight yarn, fine yarn for mini whales, or even super chunky yarn for larger whales. <laughs> they make great gifts for pals who love the ocean. For this video, I'll be using paint box yarns, simply super chunky with a 10 millimeter hook. Remember to check the description below for the free pattern and yarn links. You're also going to need some toy stuffing, or if you have a stash of yarn ends, you can use those to fill up your whales. You can use safety eyes, but today I'll be showing you how you can embroider the eyes with some standard black cotton iron weight yarn. And you will also need a tapestry needle for this. Let's get started. We're gonna start with the body of our little whale. So grab your favorite shade of blue and we're gonna begin with a slip knot. And my favorite way to make the slip knot is to hold the tail on my left hand and make a loop by bringing the working side of the yarn over the tail to the left. And then to complete that, we're going to take the working yarn again and put it under and pull it up through the little loop. So just hold your tail and that working side of the yarn up through the loop and pull to complete the slip knot. So then we can just attach that to our hook and pull the working side again to adjust the loop to our hook. So for round one, the pattern asks us to make two chains to begin with. So to make a chain for you beginners, you're going to put your yarn over your hook and pull it through the loop on your hook. And there's one chain. So again, yarn over your hook and pull through the loop on your hook to make your second chain. Then the pattern asks us to make six US single crochets, which is six UK double crochets into the second chain from our hook. So the very first chain that we made. So to do this, you're going to insert your hook into that chain first. You're going to yarn over your hook, pull up a loop from that chain, yarn over, and then you're gonna pull through the two loops on your hook. And there's your first single crochet. So I need to make six single crochets into this chain. So I'll show you that again slowly. So you're going to insert your hook into that same chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, and yarn over, pull through the two loops on your hook to make your second single crochet. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my six single crochets into this same chain. So I've made my six single crochets into that chain and you can double check you have six single crochets by counting these little chains at the edge of your work. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's round one complete. For round two, we need to start our increases. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make two single crochets in every stitch. So two single crochets, into every stitch of those six single crochets we just did. So what you're gonna do is you're going to insert your hook into the first stitch. So under the little chain at the edge of your work, you're going to yarn over, you're going to pull up a loop from under that stitch, yarn over, pull through two loops. There's one single crochet into the first stitch. So I'm gonna make another one into the same stitch, put your hook under, through that stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. So there's my two single crochets into the first stitch. So I'm gonna to continue to make two single crochets in every stitch until I have 12 single crochets in round two. So I'm gonna to continue to do that until the end. 
three, four, five, six. So there's my 12 single crochets. So two single crochets in every stitch. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So that's round two complete. For round three, what we're gonna do is we're going to single crochet into the next stitch. And in the next stitch, we're going to make two single crochets. So to end round three, you're literally going to repeat that one single crochet in the next stitch, two single crochets in the next stitch until you have 18 stitches or single crochets all the way around. So I'm going to go ahead and do this now. four, five, six. So I've done my round three and I should have 18 stitches now. And that was my last round of increases. So for round four to six, so the next three rounds, we're just going to simply single crochet into every stitch all the way around. So we should have 18 stitches at the end of those next three rounds. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this now. One. So I've just completed my last three rounds and you can see that those three rounds created this 3D rounded shape for the body of the whale and that's because we stopped increasing stitches to our work. So now to finish off, what you're going to do is you're going to create a slip stitch into the next stitch. So just insert your hook into that stitch, you're going to yarn over and this time you're going to pull through the stitch and the loop on your hook all at once. And to finish off, we're just going to cut our yarn and yarn over and pull that tail through the loop on your hook. And you can pull that tail to finish. Once you finish the body of your little whale, you'll notice that you may have a hole at the top of its head. So what you can do is you can turn your body inside out and then you can thread your tapestry needle with the tail you made from the slip knot at the very beginning of your pattern. And then what you can do is you can weave your tail under the stitches of the very first round all the way around that hole. And then you can tighten it by pulling the end to close the hole. So if I continue to weave that around under the stitches, and then you can secure it and make sure it doesn't widen again by going back through those same stitches. So miss the first loop that you weaved your, your, your tail under and then just go back under the other stitches, just a few of those. And then that should be 
nice and secure and shouldn't open up very easily. And then you can just leave this little tail for the inside of the whale. You don't need to cut it off. It would be a waste to throw it away. So just turn your whale back to the right side. And there you can see your hole has been closed. For the belly, you're literally just going to repeat rounds one to three that you did in the body. And you should end up with a nice flat piece like this in color B with 18 stitches all the way around. And you're gonna finish off the exact same way, but you're gonna cut off a longer piece of yarn to finish to use later on for sewing up. Let's move on to the tail of our whale. <laughs> So for the tail, we're going to start with a slip knot again. And the pattern asks us to start with three chains. One, two, three. And now we need to do a single crochet into the second chain from our hook. So insert your hook into that second chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. And now we need to do a single crochet into the next chain, so the very first chain that we made. And now the pattern asks us to do three chains. One, two, three and we're going to do a single crochet into the third chain from our hook. And you can see the little tail starting to take shape there. So now we need to work some slip stitches to the side of our work to meet the slip knot at the beginning. So insert your hook into that stitch yarn over and pull through the stitch and the loop on your hook all at once. And we're going to create our very last slip stitch right beside the slip knot that we created at the beginning. So insert your hook into that little hole next to the slip knot, yarn over and pull through that and the loop on your hook all at once. And you can see your little tail there now. It looks like a little heart, which is so cute. So all we need to do now is finish off. So simply cut your yarn, leaving a generous tail to use later on to sew up to your body. And you're going to yarn over and pull that tail through the loop on your hook. And you can pull to finish. Yay! So it's time to embroider our little eyes. Make sure the tail of the body is at the back of your work and what you want to do is you're going to thread your tapestry needle with your iron weight yarn and you're going to create a knot at the end of that. And what we're going to do is we're going to create French knots for the eyes in between rounds five and six of the body. So what you wanna do is just put your needle up through any of the single crochets from round five on the left side. So I'm just gonna choose any single crochet. So I'll just go through this one here, right through the middle of it. And you're going to come up And now what you're gonna do is you're going to put your needle through the stitch right below it on round six. So just stick your needle through the stitch below and you're gonna come up through the same hole that you initially came up through to begin with. And you're not gonna go through the whole way, you're going to stop there and now to complete your French knot, what you're gonna do is you're going to wrap your yarn five times around the needle. 
just loosely. So one, two, three, four, five. And now you can hold those loops around the needle to secure it. And you're gonna pull your needle through them all the way through and just pull that nice and tightly and you can see your little eye starting to take shape there and now you can just thread your yarn back to the back or to the inside of your work so you can just put it through one of the same stitches you came up through and pull that right back to the inside of your work. And you can see your first little eye complete. And now you're just going to repeat the same on the other side for the other eye. So you're going to miss four stitches. So miss four single crochets, so one, two, three, four. So your next eye will be here. So you can just repeat that same process you just did on the right side of your whale. And there's my cute little second eye. And I can just thread back the needle to the inside. And I can just finish off by going under the stitches a couple of times and then just go under those loops and create a knot to finish. And then you can just leave your end inside of your whale. We're now gonna sew our belly to the body of our whale. So just pop the tail that's on the body inside the whale and out of the way. And you're going to attach the belly with the wrong side facing inside the whale. And you're going to attach that on top of the body and where the tails, two tails align and you're going to thread your tapestry needle with the long end. And you're simply going to do a whip stitch all the way around to close that. But you're gonna stop halfway through for the stuffing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. So all you need to do is put your needle under one of the stitches of the belly and under one of the stitches of the body. And just simply thread that through and you're going to do that all the way around, but stopping halfway through for the stuffing.
So I'm going to feed my little friend with some yarn scraps. And once you're happy with the amount of stuffing that you've added, you can continue doing that whip stitch all the way around to meet your first whip stitch. And once you've done your last whip stitch, you will want to secure your stitches with a knot. And then you can literally just thread your end into the whale to hide it. And then you can just trim that end to finish. To stitch your little tail onto the body of your whale, you're simply going to thread your tapestry needle with one of the ends that are on the tail. And you're gonna use that to sew it onto the back. And you want to make sure that the tail is directly in the middle of the eyes at the back of the body. So just sew it where you've sewn the belly to the body using one of the ends. So you just simply do a whip stitch to sew the tail on. Just a few at the very bottom to secure it onto the body. And then again, you can just finish with a knot. And you're going to weave the last ends through the whale as you've been doing to hide it. There's one, and you're gonna hide the other one too. And you can trim those to finish. And there's your little tail sewn on. And that's how you crochet some mini Amigurumi Ocean Friends. How cute are those? That took no time at all, right? Will you be making a collection of these little whales? What colors would you make them in? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Lovecraft channel for more. Happy crocheting!